Well, it was created as a form of ministry back in 1949, and more than 70 years later, the Mission at Atlanta's Cathedral Thrift House hasn't changed a bit. Volunteers at the thrift store say their goal is to give shoppers an upscale experience while also raising money for the community. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken is having just too much fun, way too much fun, getting into all kinds of trouble. Oh, yeah. You look good, though. Take it in. I, I do look good, right? I mean, we saw the jacket and we were all like, it's very Matlock. And then I put it on and like, I feel like this is going home with me. I'm very happy with this look. And this is all, other than my jeans and my shoes, this is from the Cathedral Thrift House. So you got the hat, which I had to put on, of course, the jacket, the shirt, and the tie. The shirt fits me perfectly. It's like it was tailored for me. I love the tie, too. And keep in mind, guys, I've only been here for like an hour this morning, and I already have a stack of clothes and other goods that I'm taking home. So I have a feeling you will have the same experience at the Cathedral Thrift House, which has been serving the community for 70 plus years. And the amazing thing is it serves the community in more than one way. So let's find out about it with the one and only Rena Sartain. Now, I feel like we should be seeing you in a greenhouse right now. In a greenhouse, that's right. But I I'm glad to be in normal clothes. And I tell you, here is where I shop. I never go home without something on a daily basis. And look at this. I, I mean, know. look, from leopard boots, kid gloves, sexy shoes, Easter hats. We're getting ready to bring all the of Easter course. stuff out. Yeah. So all the Easter bonnets yes. are going to be um, among us soon. It's just so much fun. And the things are designer things, yeah. um, new. We, we really only like to get things that are very gently used. We love people to bring their silver. We do ask them to polish. I was just going to say, polish, polish the silver or else Rena's got to do it. Yeah, right? that's exactly <laughs> right. But it's just fabulous. And I'd love to show you this mannequin over here. With yeah. Me. Okay. So there's a really interesting story back here. So, so what is the story with Very this dress? Very quickly. Yeah. Um, I went to my college roommate's wedding in New York um, and her grandmother had this on. And um, I said, oh, Nanny, that's the most beautiful thing. She left it to me in her will. So this is Esmeralda. Um, we've, we've named her, and she is kind of our... Um, I mean, the bead and the sequence work is amazing. I know. And this beautiful thing is a, an entirely 100% silk scarf and this beautiful hot pink, my favorite color, um, jacket. So, I mean, this is the kind of stuff that yeah. comes in here regularly. And the hat on top, by the way, 10 bucks. I mean, again, the prices are just incredible. So you really said when you became the, the chair of the board here, mm -hmm. the idea was to make this a really upscale shopping experience. And the word that you use several times is, is dignity. Dignity. I want people to walk in the door and it doesn't matter how much money they have, who they are. Right. I want them to feel special. We all want them to feel special. Um, we have a, a policy at Pikes. Within 20 seconds, you have to greet the customer. And we do that here. It's, yeah. It makes their day. We speak yeah. to everyone. We welcome them in and then help them try to find something if they need us. And it's wonderful. And yeah. we have fun here. We laugh all the time. I, we well, laugh all the time. It is such a positive atmosphere when you walk in. I want to walk over to the store manager. If you come in here, you'll you'll see Nellie around. You spent years in retail, in department stores, and you've brought that knowledge here to make this a really good shopping experience. Well, it's a great thrill to do it. When you come in here, have you ever seen a place like this? Do you believe you're in a thrift house? Not at all. You really think you're in an upscale yeah. shop at a shopping center. Right. So there's lots of joy in here. As Rena just said, we're happy almost all of the time. We've had customers calling us now. They can't wait to get here. Yeah. But look at this store, and it is absolutely filled with glorious merchandise. And what sets us apart are our donors and our customers mm. because we get the most gorgeous merchandise, and in turn, we give that back to our customers Many who can afford much, much more, but they love a great bargain. Right. Many who just want something pretty, and this is a place that they can get it. So there's a lot of happiness in this store. Mm. And I've said it before, it's a place to come to. We are part of the neighborhood. We're part of the Cathedral of St. Philip neighborhood. Right. Many times people come in here, and we are the first people they have spoken to today. Mm. So that sets us apart. Yeah, yeah. And we love that part about it. It's a joy to work here. Everyone in here 
really has the most joyous period. Yeah, you said last week that this is a place of light and you feel yeah. that when you walk in and I feel it now. I feel so joyful having you some new so clothes good. and thank you very much. I mean, I will say the makeover is totally due to We're these two right here. So. Staff, that's for yeah. sure. Well, look, anytime, anytime I will come and be anybody's personal shopper, including yours, Elise. I know there are some shoes and some mm -hmm. dresses and some children's clothes that you need in your house. So Elise, I'm happy Happy to be your personal <laughs> shopper anytime you need. You're always good at that. You really are. Okay, I, I just feel like, especially with the get up, you know, and you gave us a little little tease of it earlier, yeah. we got to hear that voice again. Okay, hold on. Let me get, I got to get into character just a minute here. <laughs> your Honor, I object. <laughs> I object to this nonsense in the court. I know I don't sound like Matt Locke. I'm just I'm trying to get there. Yeah. I got to watch the show again. I don't remember Bravo. what Andy Griffith sounded like, but I feel like it was something like that, right? Bravo. That was fantastic. And you looked the part on top of that. <laughs> All right, Paul, we'll see you in just Thank a little you. bit. Thank you. Our time is.